Hey everyone, so just a quick update on the whole boob situation. I am finally confirmed for surgery on Monday. Obviously, if you've seen my last three videos, you'll be up to date with all the craziness that's occurred over this last almost six weeks. And I was meant to have surgery on Monday and it got cancelled on the day. So I had a bad couple of days after that, just felt really rubbish and just like nothing was ever going to get sorted. And then I got myself out of that funk and just pushed on and thought, right, let's just be patient for the next set of results. Um, what else could I do really? So just tried to kind of carry on with life this week. And then I got a call from the NHS on Friday, so yesterday morning, it was actually my original appointment for my results from the very first aspiration I had done, but obviously I'd been in since, already had those results um, from when I went in, and then I had been back in a week ago to get another aspiration done where the other doctor promised she would do the appropriate testing for BIA ALCL, which is a very, very, very rare type of blood cancer that you can get from certain breast implants, textured breast implants. Allergen are the main brand that have cases of BIA ALCL. Mine are men mental Siltex, and they are the second brand that have cases <clears throat> of BIA ALCL. So obviously. I am aware of how it needs to be accurately tested, part of a Facebook group that's really, really thorough about all these sorts of all these sorts of things. And I'd requested the C D thirty and C D three test. Now when the lady called me on Friday, she basically said the exact same thing I was told at the previous appointment, the same results no malignant cells, etc. And I was like, great. So they did the CD30 and the CD3 test. No, yet again, they did not do those tests. And I said, I specifically mentioned these tests. Uh, the doctor said she wrote it down and would request these. And she went, yeah, it is written down here, but the pathology won't do it if there's no malignant cells. So it's very, very, very frustrating that they still won't do these really important tests that need to be done to rule out BIA ALCL. Regardless, my private plastic surgeon had obviously done an aspiration on Tuesday and said he would send off himself for the BIA ALCL test and obviously the other microbiology tests to see if I had an infection because these NHS tests, in all honesty, just seem to be useless. What they did is obviously the exact same thing they did before and they didn't bother doing the further testing for whatever reason. So uh, rather than get annoyed on the telephone because it's just pointless, I just was like, right, so do I have an infection? Yeah, there's inflammation. Well, is that an infection or not? Still not giving me like a straight answer. She's like, oh, you've just got a rupture. So, you know, you're young. You probably want to speak to your plastic surgeon get a uh, surgery done, get new implants in. And then, you know, we'll be in touch in like two to four weeks. And was like ready to sort of leave me. And I was like, oh, what, 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 what do you mean I have a rupture? I was told I might have a rupture, but they couldn't actually see it on the ultrasound. Both doctors couldn't see it for sure. Oh, it says here, likely rupture. And I was like, yeah, likely rupture. You're telling me I do have a rupture and this is what to do and done. And then she's like, oh, hang on. And she wanted to make a call called me back, couldn't get through to whoever. Um, and I said, both doctors suggested an MRI, which you're not mentioning. Oh yeah, I can do that if you want. And then was going to hang up again. And I was like, okay, well, 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 I was like, when am I going to hear from you and how, you know, you're going to phone me? Yeah, of course. Quite rude. And then said, yeah, two to four weeks. <laughs> so it was kind of a bit of a pointless conversation, another waste of time. And the only reason I didn't kind of continue it on any further was because I knew my plastic surgeon had sent off for his own private testing. I know he did it the other week and never got the results from the lab and blamed the lab, but he reassured me that this time they would get the results. So I sent him an email with all of this information on what the NHS had said and he called me and said that he's got 
some results with regard to whether I have an infection or not. And he's just waiting on some more. So basically what they do is they put something onto like a slide, put it in the fridge, let it brew for like 48 hours or something. And basically it's to see if like bacteria forms. Obviously some will, that's just normal. But it's to see how much forms and how quickly. And basically that will indicate whether there's infection or not. And then I got a call in the afternoon basically saying he'd got some more results and he was really happy to proceed now with surgery on Monday because all the signs are pointing towards no infection. Just inflammation, but no infection. So that was great news, uh, pushing forwards with surgery finally on Monday. Um, he just wanted to know whether there was infection or not because obviously he can then perform the procedure, remove these implants and put new ones in, Whether, whereas if I had an infection, they'd need to stay out for six months. But my only reservation is he still doesn't have the results for the BIA ALCL test, so the CD30 and C3 test, CD3 test that the NHS just for some reason are refusing to do. Now, he really just wanted the infection result and he's hoping that maybe we'll have the BIA ALCL result by Monday, by surgery day, but regardless, after the operation or during the operation, he's going to send off some tissue and stuff to be tested to confirm I don't have anything like that. So I feel okay, like I feel good about surgery actually happening and something happening because we're coming up to six weeks now, but I do still feel apprehensive that we still don't have that 100% confirmed result that I don't have BIA ALCL. It would be nice to know that for definite before surgery, but doesn't look like that's going to happen. Looks like the NHS weren't fussed about it and didn't care. So, um, yeah, they would have just let me sort of crack on. Yeah. Just go ahead with surgery and not worry about it. I guess what I can take from it is obviously whatever tests they did do, shows no malignant cells so that's got to be a good sign um but I just really want to know 100% you know those tests that need to be done specifically for this I really want to know those results 100% you know because I'm always going to just have in the back of my mind like was that done properly is it certain you know so uh hopefully Maybe Monday I'll have those results or we just go with the surgery and find out after. But either way, I will keep you posted. That's just my update. Full face of makeup because I have been at work today doing the brunch. Um, for those of you who maybe don't follow my channel regularly, I'm a burlesque performer. I do cabaret shows, fire eating, burlesque. So another reason why this whole situation is really important for my job um, obviously, you know, I perform in nipple tassels and small outfits and, you know, show off my body. So it's, you know, quite a stressful thing, um, and can affect my work, can affect my job. Obviously, if I'm out of work, you know, if I have, if I was to have my implants removed and that whole recovery time and what that would look like, you know, um, and even with getting surgery Monday, I'm potentially going to have to take a weekend off work and obviously being self-employed, that means I lose out on money. But hey, not going to feel sorry for myself. I chose to have implants seven years ago. Didn't really expect anything to sort of happen like this. You know, I, I understand they they are new, do need changing at some point because it's just like anything. Um, but, you know, wasn't expecting this whole ordeal um, in all honesty. But yeah, I've got two more jobs. I did have a hair piece in, hence my tight hair. Um, had a long fake ponytail in. So yeah, I've got two more jobs tonight. Um, a bottomless disco brunch thing where I'm singing and doing a fire act. And then uh, the venue I work at have just redone their whole nightclub because there was a fire last year where I lost loads and loads of costumes, unfortunately. Um, but the new nightclub's open and I'll be performing in there as well. So two more jobs tonight. And then tomorrow we'll be I'll be doing some choreography for a client of mine and getting everything ready and prepared for Monday. So I guess my next video will be surgery day, Monday. And uh, let's just keep our fingers crossed that it does actually happen this time. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a fabulous rest of your weekend or week, depending when you watch this. And catch you later.